we will transpose the LHS and as well as the RHS terms by changing their signs by changing the signs of those terms. So, that method will be called as the transposition method. So, here the method is the transposition method of solving a linear equation. Here, let us write the rule of transposing the terms from one side of an equation that is LHS to the other side of an equation that is RHS. So, in this rule, a term may be transposed from one side of the equation from one side of the equation to the other side by changing the signs of the terms that is by changing the signs of the terms that is if it is of positive symbol it will be changed to negative and in case if it is of negative it will be changed to positive. So, this is the rule by which we can solve the linear equation or we can find out the variable in it or we can find out the value of the variable in it by means of the method called the transposition. So, we will be transposing terms from one side of an equation that is LHS to the other side of an equation that is RHS by changing the signs of those terms particularly from positive to negative symbol and negative to positive symbol. For instance, that is for illustration sake, let us take one example that is 7 x plus 11 equals to 17. So, it is a given linear equation. So, this is the given linear equation in which the variable is of x and its coefficient is of 7. So, here I want to transpose plus 11 which is on the left hand side to the right hand side that is RHS. So, here I want to write 7 x as it is on the left hand side. So, equals to 17 is on the right hand side. So, it is also written as it is, but I have to transpose. So, here plus 11 which is on the left hand side to the right hand side. So, when we transpose plus 11 from LHS to RHS its sign will be changed. So, 11 sign is of positive on the LHS when it comes over to the right hand side becomes minus 11. So, we got this step by transposing LHS term. So, here LHS term that is plus 11 to RHS as when it is transposed plus 11 to RHS so it becomes minus 11. So, based upon this reason I have transposed 11 which is on the left hand side to the RHS. So, with changing the sign as minus 11. So, now second example that is 2 x plus 5 is equals to x with negative sign then minus 15. So, this is also a linear equation which is given for us. So, given the linear equation consisting the variable as x on either side of the equation it is present in 
the first algebraic expression which is on the left hand side that is 2x plus 5 and variable x is also present in the second variable second algebraic expression that is minus x minus 15. So, here so that implies so I want to write all the variables that is x and as well as x on the left hand side. So, 2 x is written as it is. So, in order to so change or in order to transpose that is minus x which is on the right hand side to the left hand side and at the same time plus 5 is a constant I want to transpose it to the right hand side. Then the next logical step will be off minus x is on the right hand side when it comes over or when it transpose to the left hand side minus x will become plus x on the left hand side then equal to when minus x is transposed just minus 15 is left over on the right hand side and when constant plus 5 which is on LHS when it is transposed over to the right hand side then the positive 5 will becomes the negative 5. So, in this manner so I got the logical step as 2 x plus x all the variables on one side and all the constants on the other hand that is the right hand side. So, I got this logical step by transposing. So, here LHS terms and as well as the RHS terms. So, I have transposed both LHS and RHS terms at a time. So, I transposed right hand side that is the minus x over to the left hand side and plus 5 which is on the left hand side over to the right hand side. Then now the rules to be followed by solving a linear equation in one variable. So, now solving a linear equation solving a linear equation of single variable that is one variable. So, here single indicates here one variable. So, while solving the linear equation of one variable, so the rule to be followed is off or the rules that to be followed are off. Number 1. So, we have to simplify or we we just simplify both sides or both the sides of a linear equation by removing group symbols. So, here generally we will be grouping the like terms by keeping a positive symbol or the negative symbol in front of the bracket. So, we will be removing those symbols within the so which is in front of the brackets that is the first step whereas, in the second step we will remove the fractions fractions or the decimals by multiplying by multiplying both the sides of a linear equation both sides of linear equation by an appropriate value or otherwise called as the appropriate factor which is nothing but the LCM. So, this appropriate factor or the I mean value will be nothing but the LCM for the fractions we will be having the denominators we will be taking the LCM. So, here we will be multiplying the both the sides of an linear equation by the LCM or the appropriate value or in other words the factor. So, appropriate factor whereas, as the third step we will trans transform. So, here we transform or we write all the variables we transform or we write all the variables of the given linear equation on one side that is LHS and all the constants on the other side. 
so the other side is of the RHS. So in this manner as the in the third step we will write all the variables on the left hand side and all the constants on the right hand side and similarly at the same time we will collect all the like terms and at the same time and we will collect all the like terms together on both sides. After collecting the like terms and writing the variables on left side and all the constants on the right side and collecting the like terms together as the fourth one now as the final step that is the fourth one we will make the coefficient of of variable that is to be fine or in other words it will be called as a literal as 1. So, here when we make the variables coefficient as 1 then that gives us the value of the variable or the root of that particular equation. Then now by utilizing all the steps the four steps in performing or in finding the variables value of a linear equation of single variable those were. So, first of all we will simplify both sides by removing the group symbols which are in front of the brackets then later we will remove the fractions by multiplying with multiplying the entire I mean both sides of the linear equations by means of the LCM then later we will write or we will transform all the variables on left side and all the constants on the right side as the third step and finally we will make and at the same time we will correct all the like terms together on both sides of the equation then later I say we will make the coefficient of the variable as 1. So, as soon as we make the variable of variables coefficient as 1 that gives us the value value of the variable or in other words it, it is said to be called as the root of an equation. Then now let us perform some examples under this that is example number 1 by utilizing the 4 steps in finding the variables value or the root of an equation. The first one is of solve 5 x minus 3 is equals to 3 x plus 5. So, we have to solve this linear equation since it is a linear equation. So, it has the variables degree as 1 since the variables degree is 1 in this particular equation. So, it will come under a linear equation. So, we have to solve this linear equation in order to find out the value the of the variable that is x. Then now the solution starts. So, 5 x minus 3 equals to 3 x plus 5 is given as our linear equation which is to be solved. So, we have to solve for the variable that is x in order to solve the value of the variable that is x. So, first of all let us mention the variable here. So, variable in this particular linear equation is of x. So, we have to solve for x. So, that implies as per the step as per the rule of the solving of linear equation in one variable let us write all the variables on one side of the equation. So, variables are of 5 x with x with 5 coefficient on the left hand side and the another variable that is x with the coefficient 3 on the other hand. So, 5 x is written as it is which is in the first x algebraic expression which is on the left hand side. So, I wrote it as it is. So, here I want to transpose the I mean I want to write all the variables on one side. So, 3 x is another one which is of positive. So, I want to transpose 3 x on the left hand side and at the same time I want to transpose the co constant that is 3 with negative sign on the right hand side. So, plus 3 x when it is transposed to the left hand side. So, it becomes minus 3 x then that equals to when plus 3 x is transposed to the left hand side then just plus 5 is left over on the other hand that is right hand side and at the same time I have to transpose the constant with negative sign that is 3 with negative sign on the right hand side. So, negative 3 will becomes positive 3 on the other hand that is the right hand side. So, I got this logical step by transposing by transposing LHS and RHS terms. So, here the LHS term is of minus 3 transpose to the other hand becomes plus 3 then the right hand side term is of plus 3 x transpose to the left hand side. So, becomes minus 3 x then the further logical step will be of just simplification of the like terms. So, 3 x is of negative and this 5 x is of positive to simplify 5 x with positive and 3 x with negative. So, plus of minus is of